What's up guys, what's going on? Camp Out coming at you with another review. I'm gonna just get right into it as always. Bring the box a little bit closer. You can see there's this A6 Tiger, limited edition. This is Singapore shop, probably their premier shop in Singapore. This is the Van de Coro. They did two shoes, a Gel Light 3 and a Gel Light 5. I'm gonna show you some of the details on the box. This right here is a pin. Uh, the flower that I believe the shoe was based off of, uh, uh, Van de Miss. Jaquim or something like that. I, I read the vlog, but I couldn't really make out what that last word was. This is actually a pin. It comes off the box. I'll show it to you. Well, either way, you can see it from the back. I'm spinning it from the back side with the tail piece, so you know it's a pin. The box is kind of big, so I'm just going to get into the review. Uh, turn you to the back side before I do that real quick. So it says A6 Tiger on the back portion of the box, and then you have the size. I'll bring it up a little bit higher so you can see what I'm talking about. Size 11. I did go... Um, with the size 11 because I know last year's shoe was it ran a little snug so I wanted to make sure I got the right size and I did so let me uh, do a little cut scene we'll take the shoes out of the box so before I get them out the inside of the top portion of the box you have the A6 Tiger times limited EDT and this floral print uh, you can see the light reflecting off of it you can see the back side of the pin there I don't have to show you too much of that and then the actual inner portion of the box is a styrofoam cutout <clears throat> For the shoes, uh, I don't even know what's inside this thing. It's probably like uh, a leather conditioner, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a, it's a leather conditioner, so that's cool. Uh, it also came with a brush. If you guys got the Packer 25th anniversary, very similar style brushing. Uh, definitely uses for suede or new buck. It's a soft bristle, but if you're gonna use the conditioner, you just put it a little bit on and you could rub it around, but then you only have to use it, or you can only use it with one shoe. I wouldn't use the conditioner on here and then try and press other shoes because you'll change the color. Uh, it's probably mink oil. Um, I think there was a card that came with this. I don't know where it is, but whatever. Anyway, you got that little floral design on here as well with the EDT. Bing, bang, boom. So overall, I saw the back portion of this shoe in a picture and I was immediately drawn into it. You can see that gold, the 3M, the black, this little speckle going across the midsole. I just thought that it had a really nice aesthetic to it. It looked really clean. The, uh, the yellow back here is actually 3M, but we'll get into the detail in a second. I like the way the shoe just pops. It's, it, I don't know, it, it's, it's a very well executed shoe, especially with the floral design inside of there. It's a little hard to pull off, but they did a very, very, very good job. The, Material is very premium. You could feel it as you touch it, but the whole thing is leather, which I'm not very fond of. I don't usually like leather on my Gel Light 3s just because of the creasing factor, but uh, I had to make do with this guy. So as you can see, you've got a whole bunch of floral prints that are lasered into the leather on this. Um, very, very well etched in. Uh, detail is on point. Fine work was done. It's, everything is very, very clean on this. I'll bring it a little closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but like all the floral prints from the, the Vanda Mist ja Jaquim, I believe the, the title of the flower is very clean that's where they got the colors from as well it's gold and yellow or golds and yellow um i think the other portion of the pack is like the other part of the flower i'm not really sure how it works but uh, i'll throw a picture of the gel i5 up which is more of a um like purples and turquoises and things like that but this is very very clean and i did like the gold so you can probably see the 3m just a little bit on the black uh, ASIC striping across here. So the upper layer or the overlay on the ASICS uh, Tiger striping you got from the heel portion rolling into the medial side or actually the lateral side in the mid body is all 3M and the yellow underneath is also 3M. So it has a nice effect to it when you hit it with the right light. Very, very clean. As you can see, the gold back here has a nice shimmer to it as well. I'm worried to see what that's going to look like after wearing it a little bit because you get a lot of crease in this and this is usually rubber in this heel portion. So I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm very curious to see what that's going to look like. But let's get into the rest of the detail. So we went over the etching on the toe box. You get a nice, very soft, tumbled leather across the toe capping area. Your eye stays in the bottom portion here, your toe cap. You have a little bit of etching in there as well. Detail is very, very key, and they did a very good job on that. Rolling to the rest of the lateral side, you got more of that laser print across the leather. Clean on the underlay, you could see some of the hits of the... Uh, the brand logo inside there, same thing up the grommet area, very clean. We'll get into the split tongue momentarily. I already spoke about the 3M rolling into the heel portion. You got Gel Light 3 stitched in there in a uh, like a bronze, brownish, uh, maybe even like a gold-esque color rolling into the actual heel portion. You got Aces again stitched in, Gel Light in the 3M, black 
lettering, uh, very soft leather on the upper Achilles area, rolling to the lower portion, tumbled leather again, super soft, premium, premium material. Um, very, it's quality shoe, I, I will give it that. Same thing mirrored from the lateral side, so your overlay and underlay are exactly the same. The, the under portion of that with all of your etched in or lasered in logo and flower work is there as well. Same thing down the grommet area. You have one last grommet up top here in gold. And same thing on the, sorry about that, I might have skipped it. On the lateral side, medial and lateral, everything is mirrored like I had said. We'll get the midsole real quick and then we'll get into the inside of the shoe. You have a, um, like a dark charcoal or a dark gray speckled with black and silver. Uh, mid body or mid portion of the midsole, you have a, it's like a, brown, mustard brown, I don't even know what color you would go with on that, or like a bronze, I guess. Same speckling black with the silver, and then the last hit of that again is back into the gray, outsole is brown, gray, and brown again, or bronze, whatever color we're gonna go with. Split tongue area is tumbled leather as well, very soft on the outer, very soft on the inner. Um, A6 logo on the bottom, or the uh, footbed, same thing, mirrored. I'd say there's no branding for the company, but it's all over the shoe. <laughs> you got one extra lace inside of here, I believe, not two. So the extra lace is a gray lace, which might look really nice inside of there, actually. I might have to do one in one just for the on foot. Uh, bring it a little closer so we keep it in focus for you. You got a black flat inside there and then a gray flat on the outside. They look like a wax combination on that. At least the gray one does. The black one, not as much. is probably because it was inside the shoe, but feeling the consistency is definitely a wax flat. And uh, overall, very, very, very fire shoe. I'm happy I picked these up. Um, good purchase on my part. Either way, On Foot will be coming up next. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You have any questions, hit me in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.